SMA School of Management presents Edith Cohen University. We're ranked as the top university in, in Australia right now. Uh, very recognized um, nationally and internationally. ECU is renowned for its excellence in sports science. Our big forte is the field of strength and conditioning. We have lecturers and researchers from all around the world that have assembled at Edith Cowan. And again, they're, they're regarded very highly around the world. SMA School of Management and ECU provided students access to world-class events such as the Aviva Ironman Triathlon, putting what they learn into practice, as well as for unparalleled data analysis and research. I am a, an associate professor in exercise and sports science at Edith Cowan University. Students in, at ECU, once they finish their graduate degree, they tend to go into many different fields, including becoming physical education teachers, becoming exercise physiologists, working as coaches, consulting with athletes, and a variety of different things like that. The Singapore Sports Council High Performance Centre is one of ECU's key learning bases. Students have an arsenal of cutting-edge technology at their disposal, with studies conducted to help improve athletes' performances, which include monitoring their inner core temperatures and respiratory muscle strength, amongst others. We're here at the Singapore Sports Council inside the Exercise Physiology Lab. So this is where we conduct a lot of um, the physiological tests that we te where we test lots of the national athletes to, to basically assess their physiological responses to exercise and hopefully help them improve through, through the use of science. The respiratory muscle measurements must be done first, okay, because it's a muscle Students get to meet experts from across the globe, from seasoned exercise physiologists to accomplished sports scientists. First, expiratory second, very important. Yeah, so always inspiratory. Well, I'm, a, I'm the endurance guy, really. My expertise is, is endurance sports, uh, and then that comes from my own interest as a, uh, an experience as an endurance athlete. Paul and his students recently conducted the world's first fatigue research in the tropics. Their case studies being Paul himself, along with 13 other triathletes at the Aviva Ironman Triathlon in Singapore. There's no published research to date that has examined um, physiological factors associated with performance in a half Ironman event in the, in the tropics. We're looking at uh, how athletes pace themselves in a hot environment, and to do that, we're using some, some high-tech equipment. Well, triathlons are tough, yeah, so um, it's, a, it's, a it's a real indicator of um, you know, an, an extreme event and, and pushing the body to uh, right to maximum. Led by seasoned professionals in the field, students learn to work at a frenetic pace, acquiring all the information they require with slick precision. We're not just sitting in the classroom and you know, just remembering things, we're also applying what we learn in class to the field, so when we're collecting data, when we go back um, and they run the test, then we see what sort of results we get, and then they will start doing their research from there. Only the best and newest tools are utilized to keep learning relevant to the ever-evolving world of sports science. Oh, it's very fun. I mean, it's a first-time experience for me. It's, a, it's very eye-opening. It's a very good experience. Uh, I mean, personally, I've never been to a triathlon before. I've never seen what it's like, so this is a very good experience for me, good exposure. And it's very good in a way that I get to be very hands-on with the uh, volunteers themselves. I get to do some studies. So it's very interesting. We're having a lot of fun. ECU's Professor Ken Nosaka helms the postgraduate course in the School of Exercise, Biomedical and Health Sciences. As one of the world's leading experts in muscle damage analysis, he too partakes in the students' research. My particular uh, interest in this uh, research is muscle damage. Uh, it is called exercise-induced muscle damage. Uh, we, all of us get sore after performing exercise, but we don't know what kind of muscle damage occur after Ironman triathlon. We are going to investigate uh, how stressful a uh, triathlon uh, race would be for a human body, especially in a hot and humid environment. We are going to compare this result with the previous studies. I think it's been a good experiment, a uh, good experience for me because in previous years I was a participant, so I get to see now what happens to the participants uh, from an observation perspective. We have 14 participants in this experiment, 
one of them being our lecturer, Dr. Paul Larson. I actually met this group of, of, of students last year in uh, their human physiology class, human physiology unit, that I also teach, teach for first year students. And I really noted that th these guys were really switched on. There's almost no other programs in the world where you're going to get hands-on experience, not only in the laboratory, but in the field as well. So this, in, if, they, if they want to become sports scientists, this is, uh, this is the type of stuff that they go out and do. So we're preparing them for their, uh, their future occupations right here and now.